On November 26, 2025, a team of Japanese scientists pointed their X-ray telescope at an interstellar visitor called 3I Atlas. They adjusted the satellite's position 14 times over 17 hours, tracking this ancient wanderer as it drifted across the night sky. What they captured made them stop and stare at their screens. An interstellar visitor just lit up with X-rays covering an area larger than the distance from Earth to the moon. Hundreds of observatories around the globe that will observe it. The new moon ha occurs uh, on December 19th uh, when Three Atlas is closest to Earth, so there wouldn't be any uh, moonlight uh, contaminating the images. Japan's XRISM observatory captured something that's never been seen before a comet from beyond our solar system glowing with radiation that stretches across 250,000 miles of space. This isn't just unusual, this is a cosmic first. Because while scientists have tried to detect X-rays from interstellar objects before, they've always come up empty. Oumuamua? Nothing. Borisov? Radio silence. But 3I Atlas is different. And what's happening right now as this ancient wanderer passes through our solar system is revealing secrets about how matter survives the journey between stars and possibly how life itself could travel across the galaxy. Subscribe to Space Aquarius and let's begin. Let me tell you what we're dealing with here. 3I Atlas is the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected passing through our solar system. That 3I designation tells you it came from beyond, somewhere out in the vast darkness between stars. And this thing is massive. We're talking about an object roughly seven miles wide, making it the largest interstellar visitor we've ever observed. To put that in perspective, Umamua was only about a fifth of a mile across. Borisov measured just over half a mile. This is in a completely different league. Astronomers first spotted it on July 1st, 2025, and immediately knew something was off. The trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning it's not bound by our sun's gravity. It's just passing through, and once it leaves, it's gone forever. But here's what makes this truly remarkable. Based on careful analysis of stellar positions in the Gaia star catalog, scientists determined that 3I Atlas hasn't been close to any star in at least 10 million years. Think about that timeline for a second. 10 million years ago, our early human ancestors were just beginning to walk upright, and this object was already drifting through the cold, empty void of interstellar space, accumulating material like a cosmic time capsule. I've personally read many comments with different theories, and I think this time we might be very close to something extraordinary. Between November 26th and 28th, 2025, Japan's X-RISM Observatory, that's the X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy mission, locked onto 3I Atlas for 17 hours of continuous observation. The satellite had to adjust its position 14 times just to keep the comet centered in its field of view as it drifted across the constellation Virgo. And what those instruments revealed was stunning a faint X-ray glow extending roughly 250,000 miles around the comet's nucleus. This wasn't a brief flash or a localized hotspot. This was a massive, diffuse cloud of X-ray emissions surrounding the entire object. The preliminary data showed something scientists call a charge exchange reaction, and understanding this process is key to understanding why this discovery matters so much. Here's how it works. As 3I Atlas got closer to the sun, solar radiation began heating its frozen surface. This caused water ice to sublimate. That means it went directly from solid ice to water vapor without becoming liquid first. This created an enormous cloud of gas around the comet, what astronomers call a coma. Now our sun is constantly blasting out charged particles in what we call the solar wind. These are atoms that have lost electrons, making them positively charged ions, mostly hydrogen, but also carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. When these high-energy solar wind ions slam into the neutral gas molecules in the comet's coma, they steal electrons in a process called charge exchange. The moment this happens, the ion becomes excited. It's in a high-energy state. Then, almost immediately, it drops back down to a lower-energy state. And when it does, it releases an X-ray photon. XRISM's instruments detected specific X-ray signatures from carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. These aren't random emissions. They're the fingerprints of this charge exchange process happening in real time on a scale we've never observed before with an interstellar object. But there's something else happening here that makes this even more fascinating. And it has to do with what 3I Atlas went through when it reached perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, 
on October 29, 2025. At perihelion, 3i Atlas was about 130 million miles from the Sun. That's actually inside the orbit of Mars. And at that distance, something dramatic happened. The object underwent what scientists are calling global cryovolcanism. That's essentially ice volcanoes, but happening across the entire surface simultaneously. Massive jets of material erupted, shooting plumes 31,000 miles into space. Amateur astronomers captured images showing multiple jets streaming off the nucleus, creating a spectacular display. Now, here's where the science gets really interesting. When water ice sublimates and interacts with the nickel and iron present in 3I Atlas, it triggers catalytic reactions that produce magnetite, that's Fe3O4, iron oxide. Magnetite is the most magnetic, naturally occurring mineral we know of. And as these magnetite crystals formed across the surface of 3I Atlas, something remarkable happened. The comet began building its own internal magnetic field. This is on top of the magnetic field it already has from its ionized plasma coma. When solar wind particles interact with the gas around a comet, they create what's called an induced magnetosphere. The Rosetta mission, which studied Comet 67P up close, measured magnetic field strengths of 30 to 50 nanotesla under normal conditions. When a solar storm hit that comet, the field strength jumped to 300 nanotesla. Now add internal magnetite deposits to that equation, and you've got a significantly enhanced magnetic shield. Why does this matter? Because magnetic fields protect against cosmic radiation. They deflect high-energy particles that would otherwise tear apart complex molecules. And 3I Atlas is carrying a lot of complex molecules. Spectroscopic analysis has revealed that this object is loaded with water ice, organic molecules, carbon-rich minerals, and silicates. The water appears to be chemically pristine. It lacks the heavier isotopic fingerprints typically found in comets formed inside our solar system. Models suggest this water could have frozen into the comet as far back as 7 billion years ago. That's well before Earth even existed. Recent findings from NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission, which returned samples from asteroid Bennu, showed that even B-type asteroids, which are more processed by solar radiation than distant objects, contain all the essential building blocks of life. Scientists found glucose, ribose, and 14 of the 20 amino acids essential for life as we know it. D-type asteroids and trans-Neptunian objects, which are more similar to 3I Atlas in composition, are expected to be even more enriched in these organic compounds. What this means is that 3I Atlas is almost certainly carrying amino acids, nucleotides, and other prebiotic molecules. And it's been carrying them through interstellar space for potentially billions of years, protected by layers of ice and now, as it passes through our solar system, generating its own magnetic shielding. There's one more piece to this story that's particularly intriguing. At 2.5 astronomical units from the Sun, that's about 233 million miles, something changed. On September 7, 2025, 3I Atlas suddenly brightened by two apparent magnitudes. That's a significant jump in brightness, and it wasn't a temporary outburst. The brightness increase was sustained and continued to accelerate as the comet approached perihelion. This suggests that at 2.5 astronomical units, conditions became right for liquid water to exist on the surface. Not just ice, not just vapor, but actual liquid water. And liquid water is crucial for the catalytic reactions that produce magnetite and complex organic molecules. For a brief window, as this interstellar visitor passed through our solar system, it may have had liquid water on its surface for the first time in millions of years. Now, here's where this story intersects with us directly. On December 19th, 2025, just days from now, 3I Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth. It'll be about 170 million miles away, so there's no danger, but it's close enough that the James Webb Space Telescope and other major observatories will get their best views yet. Scientists are planning intensive observation campaigns to gather as much data as possible. Then, between March and April 2026, something even more interesting will happen. Earth will pass through the region of space where 3I Atlas was during its perihelion. Remember those massive jets that erupted, shooting material 31,000 miles into space? All that debris, water vapor, dust, organic molecules, 
is still out there drifting along the comet's orbital path. And we're going to fly right through it. Scientists don't know exactly what to expect. Will we see meteor showers? Will any of that material survive entry into our atmosphere? And here's the really profound question. If 3i Atlas is carrying organic molecules and the building blocks of life, and some of that material makes it to Earth's surface, are we witnessing a process that could seed planets with the ingredients for life? This idea isn't science fiction, it's called panspermia. The hypothesis that life, or at least its building blocks, can travel between star systems on objects like comets and asteroids. And 3i Atlas is giving us a real-time case study of exactly how that might work. The X-ray emissions we're seeing aren't just a cool space phenomenon. They're a window into active chemistry happening on a cosmic scale. We're watching an object from another star system interact with our sun, and every piece of data we gather is teaching us something new about how matter behaves in the extreme environment of interstellar space. What makes this discovery particularly significant is that it's the first time X-rays have been detected from an interstellar comet. When Oumuamua passed through in 2017, scientists tried to detect X-rays. Nothing. When Borisov came through in 2019, they tried again. Still nothing. But 3i Atlas is different. It's more active, it's larger, and it's giving us the data we've been hoping to collect for years. The fact that X-RISM captured 17 hours of detailed observations with multiple position adjustments to track the comet's movement means we have an unprecedented data set. Scientists are still analyzing the full spectrum of X-ray emissions, looking for additional signatures that might reveal even more about the comet's composition and the processes happening in its coma. And there's still more to come. After its closest approach to Earth on December 19th, 3i Atlas will continue its journey outward. On March 16th, 2026, it will pass within 33 million miles of Jupiter. If NASA approves a course adjustment, the Juno spacecraft could potentially swing out to sample the comet's dust stream, giving us our first up-close look at material that formed beyond our solar system. After that, 3i Atlas will curve back into interstellar space, leaving behind terabytes of data and a wealth of new questions. But it will also leave behind something else, a trail of material that Earth will pass through, and the knowledge that interstellar visitors can carry water, organic molecules, and potentially even the seeds of life across the vast distances between stars. What we're witnessing right now is a cosmic laboratory in action, an object that's traveled for millions of years through the cold darkness of space, suddenly coming alive as it passes through our solar system, revealing its secrets through X-ray emissions and spectacular jets of material. And the data we're gathering is rewriting our understanding of how matter, and possibly life itself, can survive and travel between the stars. If you want to stay updated on 3i Atlas as it makes its closest approach to Earth, hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next update. And here's something cool. We just added a new feature where you can track the comet's position in real time using the link in the description. Check it out, and if you find it useful, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment, letting me know what you think about this interstellar visitor. Is it just a comet, or could it be carrying something more? And if you know someone who's into space and cosmic mysteries, share this video with them. They'll definitely want to see this.